going on YouTube? It's Ali Dope and I'm checking in once again and today we're going to be creating this dope Merino Norwood inspired design to kick off Fashion Week. Yes, sir. Like a butterfly and sing like a beast. Ah, rumble, young man, rumble. Ah. So we're back again continue on with Creatober. And this week is Fashion Week. Creating a Merino Norwood inspired design. We're gonna be reviewing Fuller Moe's Master Bundle. We're gonna create a sneaker poster as well as creating a fashion poster ad. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a drop. I don't want you to miss it. So you should just subscribe so you don't. Also, leave a like for the algorithm so they know we lit. Now for this video, we're gonna be creating this Merino Norwood inspired design. Now, Merino Norwood is a designer who came into the scene dropping his $150 tees featuring Elon Musk, 50 Cent, Eminem, Denzel Washington, to name a few. They are a holy grail in the streetwear scene. So you can see them going on grail for 100, 200. He used to do limited releases for them. So they can, you can only cop it when you can cop it. And after that, it was done. Uh, the reason why is because of the quality of the designs, the fabric, and it also featured front and back designs. The difficulty of the designs were he wasn't just taking images and throwing them onto the t-shirt as a regular bootleg design. He would take them and create different imagery from the actual design itself. So I always uh, admire him for that, taking it up a level for bootleg designs. Because as you guys can see, everybody's making bootleg designs now. So what's gonna make your design stand out from the next designer? Uh, his shirts also feature a lot of 3D text and intricate text design that also separated his designs from others. So today, that's what you're gonna be learning using Photoshop. Now, without further ado, I've been rapping enough. Let's hop into the computer and let's get started. Yes, sir. First thing first, you wanna open up your project. I usually have a custom preset at 14 by 16, 300 DPI. That's for printers or whatever. So you wanna go ahead and click on that. And you got 14 by 16, 300 resolution. And then boom, we got it. Go ahead and minimize that. And for most of these bootleg tees, as you guys seen my tutorials in the past, all you gotta do is fill it with black because most t-shirts start with black, right? So for today's tutorial, I'm gonna use, of course, Muhammad, <laughs> the big Ali, the big goat, you know what I'm saying? So I do wanna get it inspired by, but I don't wanna just straight up rip off this man's design. So most of his designs start off with like a middle center image, and then he usually has a bunch of imagery around it he doesn't do too much cutting or using of the circles and stuff like that for uh, like other designers or other bootleg tees that you've seen or the traditional way of doing it he usually just uses a bunch of scenes and he also doesn't mess too much with the color a lot of his colors are are real saturated colors for the background so i'm going to take it and then just up it a level and as well as he uses different cutouts from different imagery so we actually want to create a dope middle image this one is gonna be mine. I love this one. I love this, like, it's so clean. It's so, like, just on point. So when you, like, the middle of the shirt, and I think it has good colors as red and hemp. So first things first, you're gonna go ahead and rasterize it. You wanna go up here, select subject. Um, there we go, Command Shift I, delete everything. Make sure you get away from all these, um, the white edges. And how you do that is you just click on the magic wand tool, select modify feather. We're gonna feather it by one is cool. And then delete. Now you got a nice clean cut right here. And I like that for a great center image. Usually most of him, his imagery is one image surrounded by a bunch of images around it. He rarely ever like uses a multiple for center imagery. So since we're doing inspired by his style of design, let's stick with the one. We're gonna call this um, Middle Ali. Convert, that's gonna go on top of everything. Now you wanna find dope imagery. And as you can see, it's pretty much cut off. So since Ali's name is so small, I don't think we're gonna be trying to do too much at the top. So keep that in mind for your design. 
So we're probably gonna put Muhammad down here and then like a small Ali like in the corner or something like that. So since we have this one directly in the middle, let's go ahead and start adding some of the imagery surrounding it. Now, it, you can just find a bunch of pictures offline. That's what I did. Uh, and then start moving it. So like you just wanna place dope moments. I think I wanna go moments first. I'm gonna just put it on top just so we can see. These are some of the top moments. Of course, we gotta have this one. Now, people always ask me about copyrights and stuff like that. Of course, you have copyright issues and things like that. But if you manipulate to a point where they don't know who's who and what's what, run with it. I say run with it as long as you can. And then if you get a cease and desist, cease and desist, man. You got to catch me. That's how I rock. I'm so mean, I make medicine sick. <laughs> Bad dude. Bad. Fast. You got to catch me. So we're going to go ahead and use that one right here. I want this one right here since the man is like falling out. I think this is a dope imagery to use like over here in the corner this one's another one of a uh, great imagery of him knocking somebody the hell out <laughs> awesome now right now all i'm gonna do is place it before i start like masking away things and start cutting away things i just want to place everything so i just kind of love where everything is placed first So for this one, I do want to use a special technique. It's called neural filters. Go to filter, neural filters, and they have this thing. This, when you use these neural filters, you go to colorize, and then it'll change these colors from black and white to color in like 2.5 seconds. I think that's awesome. And put that one over there. So now as we have all these layers and stuff, let's start getting um, some of these things together and start organizing everything. Let's start off, put that at the top. We're gonna start off with Malcolm and him. And now let's go to the vault. Let's name this vault. It doesn't matter because when I think it's gonna like delete it anyway, we're gonna put that over top. And like I said before, I wanted to delete the that top. So with Marion's designs, he always takes the imagery and like creates his own images from the imagery. So I really just only want the circle. I don't want the whole vault. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the polygon tool and just go around to the circle. Now, if it works for it, it works for it. If it doesn't, it's cool. You gotta make it fit for what it's trying to fit for. So like, I wanted it to cover up this signature here. Boom. I got 1886 right here. Maybe we could edit, transform, flip. Like I said, you don't always just know where you're gonna place everything. As you can see, we're having some issues with this over here. So like I did it before, I could put it over the vault and then create a mask. I really wanna see him getting knocked out. I wanna take that and I'm gonna stretch that to this part right here. And I really just want this part here. I don't really want that man and the hand and all that stuff. I really just want that. So we're gonna cut out the background and then him on the hand. And like I said, with merino shirts, oh, hold on, sure. with merino shirts, like I said, it's always taking the imagery and making it your own, so you really can't tell where you got this image from. So like for this particular one, this hand is in the way, so we're gonna click on this hand, just where the hand is at, and we're gonna go ahead and create a selection. Go to Edit Content Aware Fill, and we're gonna fill this in, not with none of this just with the hand. So now it's nice and smooth. Before you merge it, as you can see, look at it first, take down the opacity, and then you just wanna erase it to the arm, right there. Turn the opacity back up, merge it with the one below, and then you wanna create this, click on the smudge tool, you can turn the smudge up a little bit and then you just want to smudge it so it's all pretty clean. So now you can see we got this dope imagery of Ali here. We're going to drop that underneath the middle Ali. And then there, as you can see where the money is. And if I really want to be fancy, I could cut out that money vault. I can go in here 
And this is me just going into the actual smart object. It being extra. So I cut along each line. Like I said before, usually people just drop photos in there, don't really change too much. Don't really go in there and really get fancy with it. I can go ahead and delete that. Cool. Now you could put this underneath the vault so then the money is here, right? Get in there. Cool, we need to delete this little part right here. So go back into the vault. Awesome. I kind of like it. To be honest, I really want this to be over top here. Create a mask on there. Go back and click on the 1886 one and then paint on the mask. Once again, this is what makes uh, his tees so fire is because he's really intricate with his um, selections and things like that. I really just want to make sure I'm deleting the one with the arms. So everything else can pretty much stay. So for now, I'm just gonna move on to something else. Same one we're here. I want this one to be color. So go ahead and let's start with this one. So for this one, like I said, you still need neural filters for all the black and white imagery. Yours might not have black and white imagery, but since we're using an older photo, I felt like it would be cool to use both of the processes. This looks pretty good. I think they did a really good job of capturing everything. Maybe we bump the saturation up a little bit. That's cool. So rasterize this. We're gonna go ahead and merge this down. So now we have that. Now for this one, this one's a specific one. I wanna keep the board but we, we want to cut him out. So we're going to go ahead and cut him out of the background here. So like I said, you just want to soften up the edges so everything's not all so harsh. Select, modify, fan. Let's go by three. Select, modify, feather. Same thing, by two. Go ahead and clean it up so now we got a nice soft edge if you want to like i said if it's still giving you like these white edges just go in there with your brush your soft brush and go ahead and clean those up cool go ahead and create that to a smart object i kind of like how this one is doing so maybe underneath here you could drop it make it a little bit smaller You want this square to kind of fit. So, cause we're gonna put another image in this square here. Maybe that's the image that goes inside the of this one. Like I said, you gotta play around. Cause I was like, I don't really like all that extra stuff in the background, like, but the spacing was off. But now if we just put that in there, Y'all know he's getting knocked out. You can see somebody on the ground. <laughs> and then I'm only gonna erase the outside on the mask here. Boop. And now we're only gonna erase this stuff here. Boop. And, then shift on. and then we're gonna just erase everything. Okay guys, so I went and found a few more imagers imagers <laughs> i went and found a few more imageries that i think might work a little better for what we're trying to do so i found this one of him uh working out i feel like that'd be cool for this centerpiece over here so we're just gonna go right click rasterize select subject so we're gonna go like that i kind of think it matches a little bit better too cool we're gonna right click uh, convert to a smart object we're gonna let that rock right there just for now we might change it like I said we got this one and I really wanted to use that one right there too so like I said we might move it so I want this one over the glove so like let me just move this one for now turn it off turn this one on And it's gonna be Ali right here at the bottom. And then I wanna cut out pretty much all the extra. Cause I really just want his gloves and stuff. So after you guys cut out everything, 
like I like this placement here I like that way better than we what we already had I feel like there's a lot of empty space right here I feel like we can drop a cool image in the background right there cool I think this one's cool right down there at the bottom like I said I'm gonna go ahead and create that neural filter on there awesome go ahead and save that click yes move it down and then I love this side right here y'all I think the only thing about this is maybe we could flip it because I don't like the way that it's cut off on the side here so in order for it to match up let's just match that up on the edge here awesome cool beans now I think we just find a dope image for real I think we just find a dope image to put in the back of this I think that's really it to be honest maybe this can go okay so I found this image put that probably at the bottom of everything like I said make it work tie that in the lines match up right here bada boom bada bing maybe just take up that space right here move it up like I said we can delete all that extra stuff it's more boxy than anything but that's okay with me take everything make it a little bit bigger but now for me I'm gonna go in for different ones and create my own shadow so like click on this specific one go in there and add your shadow layer click the brush tool use black I'm gonna bring down my flow down a little bit bring down the opacity just a tad and you're gonna go in there and just start adding some shadows there we go you could just click drop shadow but that doesn't give you too much control over where the shadow is and where the shadow goes and you know how hard the shadow is you know you want the maximum control it gives it a little bit of depth in between certain things now for all the images like behind Ollie I do want to kind of play with the coloring a little bit because you do want a standout color. I think the standout color should be red because he has a lot of red. So we're just going to make sure a lot of the, all the options are red. So this is kind of like a a beige burgundy color. So I do want to adjust the colors of his gloves. So I'm going here and click. So just duplicate it. Command double. You're going to go ahead and duplicate it. Image adjustments. Replace color. We're going to go ahead and click the color that we're trying to replace. Make sure this fuzziness makes up all of the colors in the actual um, thing. And we're trying to get it like a redder glove. Let's go ahead and boost that saturation up. Bring down the lightness and that color. Make sure it's nice and red. So what we can do is we're going to go ahead and create a mask on this. And then we're going to my neck <laughs> uh, create a quick selection and we're just gonna select him as a person Boom. deselect the gloves because that's what we want to keep go ahead and paint command shift I and erase turn this back on as you can see now the gloves are like a redder color save that go ahead and think so now we got like red gloves now I could do that for all like I could do this one for this one as well so then they're all red gloves duplicate that do the same process duplicate that image adjustments replace color same thing that we just did Like I said, you gotta make it, you know, noticeable. So now we got all the red gloves. So like, it's a central theme. So it's like, you can't be like, 
nobody else is gonna have these images because everybody else's image is gonna have that regular regular stuff that they got so like I said we're pretty much good with this let's move on to some text go ahead and lock this up right here create thing I'm gonna call this shit I'm gonna call this main image call it incised 901 you can go ahead and try to copy and find that and then we're gonna go ahead and click this warp tool and give it some like depth usually he does like a rise something like that pretty cool you can go edit transform and skew it as well to give that um like that up and down or what have you for me i'm going to edit transform i really want to do the distort or the warp so what i think i need to do is go ahead and convert it to a smart object transform perspective i want to make it wider like that you can go ahead and shift it font is going to look like like this or whatever so i want to go ahead i might not even keep this font i might do it a different way but i'm going to go ahead and do the font in illustrator just so i can take it over to after effects but you guys don't have to like i said this is just what i want to do you guys do not have to do this i'm gonna go ahead and save this now if you already don't know you can create these these illustrator layers and bring them into after effects if you haven't already go ahead and watch that tutorial i've done it once or twice already a few different designs already uh, I, how to make a 3d logo and i did it in the sports poster design i did so i'm not gonna walk through this whole process i'm just gonna do it and then you guys can like i said see the final product but if you want to know how to do it exactly i already did this tutorial twice on that so you can just go watch that i already have my text that i went ahead and made in uh after effects that's how you can get this cult this dope um 3d text that um he normally uses to give it like another like a different bob we already had kind of placed it so i just put i just went based on the placement all i did was take my image i saved the jpeg brought it into illustrator so i can kind of get my placement right you're going to go ahead and click on this magic wand tool and you just want to select the red and then you want to just collect select similar so it's going to create all these different ones if it gives you a little problems just go ahead and collect what you need to click on make sure all of it is selected right and then you're going to go ahead and dump boom so then you have a nice overlay of the image right so all we're going to do is go into your effects and then like i said i have a bunch i use sometimes i use mine sometimes i use fuller's um like i said we're going to be reviewing his full text pack so i got all the textiles now so we're actually going to make another type of bootleg design when i review his pack but i just wanted to show you guys uh how to do it pretty much so i just always gonna review mines first just to see if mines hit but we're gonna go ahead and use these like i said you got to adjust it for what you need to adjust it to we're gonna remove the drop shadow um the pattern overlay the inner glow we keep all that the bevel adjust the bevel so it matches the your font outline you just want to slowly have it you don't need it too strong now i do want to add like a stroke to it just because it's a lot of empty space right there change the stroke back we're going to change the stroke actually to the blue color whatever color it is now to match because we're going to go ahead and create a convert it to a smart object right click on it now do hue and saturation i don't know why it works like that sometimes it um just gives you technical difficulties whatever so now i have full control over the color i want and as you know we're going for like this red color here boom the saturation up a little bit maybe bring the the lightness down a little bit cool now with that you can go ahead and make it match the actual image so then it's like on there you know what i'm saying so whatever you gotta go through your settings to give it that vibe so it looks natural color burn seems like the best one and then i would just need to go over the levels and adjust the the levels a little bit so it's not so dark 
right in there. You know what I'm saying? Create that puppet mask on top of the group. I think that's pretty good right there. I kind of like it. I think you can see, I think it matches the reds that's in the actual um, gloves. I think for the bottom layer here, we can just add a drop shadow to give it that nice little vibe. Increase the size a little bit. That's cool. Like I said, for the final, I might adjust it for the final um, actual image. You'll see that when you order your tee. Uh, so, because I want to get it perfect for the shirt, but this is just for the tutorial, so you guys can kind of see what's going on. Same thing. I got Ali down here. I could put it like down here at the bottom. Now for the final, let's just throw a mask on the actual main image and go ahead and create like a nice soft bottom so it's not like so harsh on the end cool you're gonna do that for the whole all the size in here in this empty space we could put some words right there too some simple words i think i might just put some words some simple like float like a butterfly sting like a bee ain't nobody as fly as ali ah Alrighty guys, I think we are pretty much done. I'm okay with this. I'm not gonna lie. You can rock some J's with this, right? You can wear some ups with this. I feel like it's a co good color wave. Red and the black. I think the only thing I might move is I might double up and make the Muhammad's head over it. I'm gonna check to see how it looks. But other than that, that's this tutorial. Now, I hope that helped you in some sort of way, shape, or form and got the kids turning and motivated to create your own design. Now, people always ask me, Ali, are these shirts for sale? <laughs> so for this one time, for this specific design, I will be selling this design. Now, we are gonna take pre-orders. Pre-orders will be up for three weeks and orders will go out in the first week of December, earliest November. The pre-order will, like I said, again, be up for three weeks. After that, it's no longer gonna be available. So don't ask. So if you're watching this a year from now, I'm sorry. So <laughs> please act fast. The link will be in the description below so you can place your pre-order. I've made designs before in the past. As you can see, this, I made this. And a couple of my other shirts you guys can see on the on my shirt. I made a John Singleton before. I worked with a couple of other designers and a couple of other clothing companies. Remember, keep creating. Keep learning and most importantly, keep hustling. And until next time, Ali Dope, I'm checking out. Yes, sir.